wanna dabble in the mushroom cloud with me. I'm ready to make them down and get them stuck up in my teeth. Been a long time since the last time. No lying, cause I did it last week. They ah, hate my brain, getting ready for sleep. I put the poison in my mouth and then I turn up the feet. Somebody please tell me why the fungus among us the smallest be the one that make me really reach my teeth. What's up, y'all? It's the Dirtball Fago Lovers. Dot net to all my juggalos, all my technicians, all my sub noise rats, everybody in the underground, what's up? Hey, fagolovers.net in the house, the dirtball represent. Um, when I came into this record, I was more approaching it as making a lot of the sounds from the album closer to home for me so I developed a lot of the that drumming tracks and a lot of the beats came uh, you know from my own drumming so we, we shaped a lot of the sounds around them I just wanted to come at it with you know a homegrown effect but still keep it straight rapping but just on a different angle you know so that's kind of where I was coming at Yeah, the drumming will definitely be coming out soon. Uh, it's just a matter. L Lou Dog made an actual kit for me, a stand-up kit, so we're we're rocking it standing, and it'll be out probably in, you know the next couple tours. I mean, I've been uh, wanting to make it happen, so I've been just honing my skills, about to bang it out. So you'll see it in effect here shortly. My favorite part about Crook County is that I, I actually grew up there, you know, and was raised in the county and raised a ton of hell in the county. I've been arrested a few times in the county. I mean, it's been where I've just, you know, it's basically a little lawless county. So I've just enjoyed being lawless my whole life out in that county. Well, some law, but mostly lawless. So that's where Crook County comes from. Um, like I was saying before, this <clears throat> the Crook County record compared to Papa D-Ball and Reptilian is definitely different. I try and I try and definitely uh, recreate myself each time I release an album. So it's you know it's hard to, it's hard to answer that question because it's like every time I I, I thought the two first ones sounded different, but um, this one sounds a ton different. A little more produced, a little more shined up. Um, just a you know better representation of me, more up to date. So uh, that's where it's at. Amazing. Um, again, strange music. Tech Nine, Cut Calhoun, Chris Calico, all of them. Dude, it's just, it's just such an honor to be involved in their camp. I, you know, I don't even know what to say. So, I'm just honored to be on the record. Like, I never actually, we weren't actually sitting there in the studio, but just even the whole uh, perception of the track and everything that I did in my studio was just amazing. So, good experience. Um, yeah, we'll we'll be having a big DNI. This is our first headlining tour, so we've got a, a ton of set changes actually. So it'll be a lot of new rec new new music off the new record, Crook County, and uh, you know, just uh, I'm sure Big B's bringing in some new music and about to put it together next week. So we'll be out in May, all the way through June. So representing Crook County. Yeah, I'm hoping so. We're uh, shooting it this weekend up at Big Bear. Um, so, yeah, it's called Mushroom Cloud. It's the first single off my record for County and Daddy X and myself. And uh, it's going to be dope, man. I'm just, it's going to be a whole green screen experience. So, t hopefully, take you through a mushroom trip, you know, an actual psychedelic mushroom trip. Yeah. We're actually getting ready to go into the studio and do a new uh, Suddenly Soldiers record, so be tuned for that. Um, <clears throat> Big B and I are about to drop in, you know, all of us at the camp and do a new Soldiers record. So, yes, you can be ready for that, you know, probably late, you know, 2008, thinking towards the end of 2008, so...
Um, the merch design contest on Fago Lovers went super, super well. Thanks to everybody. We had like 30 submissions, which is, you know, for a merch design contest, is super killer. Tons of super good submissions, and um, <clears throat> and John Knives. This guy JohnKnives.com, like the word knives, J O N knives. He killed it and made the winning design, and uh, we had some other winners that are being made into stickers and everything else. So, just big ups to FagoLovers.net for having me up on there, all the juggalos and all the uh, other subnoise rats and technicians who, who sent their designs in. That was dope. So, thank you much, the Dirtball. Monster, monster, where did all the good in me go? Sniffing at the cash flow, but the nose that the chiefs can only go. So far as a motherfucker wanted to go, and this motherfucker right here.